Hello, hello, welcome back. Today we are going to be going over my favorite art supplies. And these are in no particular order and I do kind of jump around with when they are my favorites, but I would say these have been my favorite supplies within the last year and I use all of these pretty frequently. To start, we're gonna have Posca pens or paint pens. I just have the Posca brand simply because I was able to get all these on sale. If you shop on Amazon, sometimes you can do at the bottom, I forget what it is, but if you look for all options, occasionally there'll be returns and stuff where you can get things for a discounted price. And that's how I got both of my sets of Posca pens. And then some of them I randomly picked up at the art store, like this big boy. What I love about Posca pens is their opacity and they're so easy to use. Anybody can use these and they make amazing paintings and illustrations. Their only downfall is when you first have to start them, you have to shake them up forever. I don't have any new ones to show you, but you have to basically get the, there we go. You have to shake them up and get the pen flowing and you have to press down on the nib and it's super annoying. For the most part, painting with Posca pens is really fun and easy. These are a great art supply if you work full time and you don't necessarily have the energy for cleanup or the hassle with palettes, that sort of thing. I think they make diving into your art really easy to start with. Second on my list of supplies, I have a sketchbook. This is a watercolor sketchbook with 300 GSM, I think, or is it 200? Honestly, I don't really pay attention to that. I just get what I can afford and what I like. And I think a lot of times with art supplies, sometimes you have to just get what's within your budget. This one is on a slightly higher endpoint. It's Speedball and it is it's a large sketchbook, as you can see here. I don't remember the size of it, but it's slightly bigger than a piece of paper. And that's what I love about it. I love that there's plenty of room to mess around in it. And you can get a lot of stuff on a page. But I also like to buy regular paper, watercolor paper. So this whole tablet was about $10. So it's about half or a third of the price of the other one. So you can get paper to paint on or other supplies that are within your budget as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same sketchbook that I use. I'll try to remember to list these down below. So if you're interested in this specific sketchbook, you can check it out. You just saw my sketchbook and inside of it, all those paintings were done with Holbein traditional artist gouache. Let me grab some to show you. So this is what they look like. And part of the reason why I buy this brand is simply because this is what the local art store sells near me. I do have a couple of Windsor and Newton. So if you're in the UK, most likely this is the most affordable option for you. In the US, it seems like Holbein is the option. And obviously if you're in Japan, it's a Japanese product. These would be the ones you would get. Now for gouache, I do love traditional gouache, but I also really like jelly gouache. And I have three different jelly gouache sets. I'm a bit of a art supply hoarder. So if you don't have as many art supplies as me, don't feel bad, that's probably a good thing. Here's a painting done with jelly gouache. And let me go ahead and show you my jelly gouache palettes. We have my regular one. So this one is 36 colors and this is Mia Hemi. And then I also have another set by them and I believe it's 52, it's pretty big. Let me see if I can pull it out for you. 
In my opinion, this is a great set of paint to start painting with just because you get so much for the price. And it's really helpful for people who struggle with wasting stuff because you have so much paint and colors that you're not going to feel like you're wasting it. So like I said, there are a couple types of wash that I like and I do love all three types. The last one is acrylic wash. Now my favorite brand for acrylic wash is the Liquitex. I love the bottles that it comes in and I also love the consistency of the paint. I do, however, have the Holbein acrylic wash. I have quite a few of these. So with the Holbein, they are smaller amounts compared to the Liquitex for about the same price. It is thicker, so you have to water this down a lot of times and I don't really like that. I guess I'm a little bit on the lazy side. I love that the Liquitex ones, you can squeeze them out and you're ready to go. However, the Holbein brand or line of acrylic washes, there are so many cool colors that you just don't have available to you with the Liquitex brand, unfortunately. We're talking a lot about painting here so of course you might be interested in and in what my favorite paint brushes are and I do have a specific type that I like I do think you can get away with using any paint brushes that you have my first set were really affordable ones from Amazon but I have upped my level of paint brushes and I am now very fond of the Princeton select this is my favorite go-to for painting with wash and I have them in a variety of sizes and shapes. There is a set that you can get of rounds on Amazon that is only like $10 to start out with, which is really good for, I think it's five brushes too. It's five brushes for around $10, amazing deal. Now for my line work, I am also still using the Princeton brand, but this is the Velvet Touch series. I haven't tried the, so the ones that are blue are select. I haven't tried these yet in the liner brushes, but I did see them at the art store recently. So probably in the next couple months, I'll pick some up and give them a try. We'll see how they go. I, I feel like I need to add some more sketchbooks in. So here I'm coming back with some more sketchbooks. This is the art sketchbook. Look how big it is. This thing is so big. This is the art sketchbook with mole sketchbook. Moleskin, Moleskin, the mole book. And I absolutely love it. It is so big and so fun. Hang on, let me see if I can pull up a landscape painting that I've done or any of the big. This one I did in 10 minutes with my left hand. I am right handed. So I did it with my opposite hand and it was so fun and free and just, I also use the jelly gouache for that. Again, so affordable. Let me see. Here's some sketches with Posca pens. Let's see what I can find for you guys. Oh, here is a Luna Ma. But do you see what I mean about the size? It sort of just frees you up to have fun and play around. And I just, I just really like that. Here's a sketch again with just Posca pens. These were all quick sketches, quick studies, but really fun. Anyways, I absolutely love this sketchbook. I love the size of it. It's amazing. My favorite sketchbook, I should have said this earlier as well, but my favorite sketchbook for Posca pens is the watercolor Hanna Mula sketchbook and it's a German brand. So I've only ever found it on Amazon. I've never found it in a real store so far but I really, really like the way that Posca pens work on it. Uh, so yeah, there's also that one. Can you tell just from the sound alone? What's it gonna be? Prismacolor color pencils. Woo! 
I love these. I've had this specific set other than this one color here since before my son was born. For context, Fern is now 10 years old. He'll be 11 in January. And they still are amazing. They still work really great. I am switching out the way that I sharpen them so that they don't break as often. I'm using like the shorter type of sharpening, even though I prefer the longer point. The longer point doesn't work well with them. Anyways, you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that these are one of the favorites. For my last item to share with you guys, it is my iPad, specifically the Apple Pencil with the app Procreate. I've been using it to draw a lot of digital illustrations lately, and I'm starting to really learn how to use the software of Procreate and finding a lot of fun in that. And yeah, I'm just, at first I was very hesitant and maybe not hesitant. I think I just didn't have the courage. I had a lot of fear about drawing digitally just because so far I've always been a traditional artist. But once you start to learn it, wow, it, it's a lot of fun. It's really cool, all the different stuff that you can do with it and how quickly you can put together an illustration. Like a painting that would take me multiple days, I can do on Procreate for like maybe two hours. It's, it blows my mind, it really does. Well, there you have it. That was my whole list of my current, I wanna make sure that I'm very specific, my current favorite art supplies because that list is ever growing and ever changing. It evolves just like a Pokemon. Anyways, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Until the next one, bye guys.